Hey guys, WB Training Cards here, back with another episode of Match Tax FIFA. We're now on episode 2, and uh, after a very successful episode 1, indeed, we did win our first game 4-0 to get 3 points on the board. And then, uh, as this series works, as every positive action I take in FIFA, I can uh, get some points from that, and for a certain number of points, I can unlock a Match Tax pack to then improve my squad. Uh, the player we chose from the Match Tax pack we got last time was David De Gea, who's about to make his debut for the team. The rest of the team stays the same as we don't really have any other options at the moment. Spironi is our only Premier League player on the bench. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the second game and we'll see what happens. And so here we go, our upcoming opponent, Swearing FC, and he's got a full gold team, but the chemistry is really all over the place. Um, so it could be an easy win. We'll have to wait and see. And remember, if we do win the game, we get 50 points. And for every goal we score, we get 10 points. And if the points we have at the end of the game um, is over 70, then we can unlock a match touch pack and take one player from that pack to improve our FIFA team. And yeah, let's get straight into the game. We did carry in 20 points from last episode. Sturridge immediately on the run here. Uh, we could have a very early goal. Oh, it's a last ditch tackle from Otamendi. And now we've got Remy. The pace in attack could be too much for him here. Remy tries to make it through the middle. He does. He needs to go for the near post here. And it's a fantastic tackle again. And now we've got Walcott. We know he's got pace. Walcott. Walcott in the seventh minute of the game. Theo Walcott puts it in. Gets us another 10 points on the board. And if that does provide us with a win, then that'll be another 50 points as well. And Theo Walcott again now. Theo Walcott's broken through two minutes later. It's in the back of the net once again. 2-0 within nine minutes. Uh, an absolute fantastic start to the game. And a fantastic game so far for Theo Walcott. Only oh, through here with Searchy. That's another good save from De Gea. Straight at him, really. Got Sturridge now. Turns one. Can he take it past another? He can. And maybe even a third. He does take it past the third. Daniel Sturridge is through here. Daniel Sturridge puts it in for three. 16 minutes in. 3-0. That just sums up the game. Oh, and that could I could have sworn that was in. It is in for the second time, but it's offside. Um, yeah, we came very close there. De Bruyne came very close. And Daniel Sturridge is ripping apart the defence. Oh, and he just can't get past that last man. Well, he's got Origi now on the ball. Company comes to the aid of our team. And we've got Walcott again now. Walcott, surely he's not going to find his hat-trick with this attack. Oh, and that's terrible defending from my opponent. Walcott can't finish. Company with the challenge could provide the opportunity for a counter-attack. Walcott, we know how fast he is. I've already said it. Theo Walcott's through once more. Theo Walcott hits the post. He could have had his hat-trick twice now, but he hasn't finished his dinner either time. Oh, and that's a lovely ball through to Rooney. Rooney can run here. Rooney is through on goal. He's got a good finish on him. And he misses. I don't know how he missed that. And we could be 6 or 7 nil up here. Sturridge could have a chance to redeem his English teammate Wayne Rooney. He can find Remy in the middle. He does find Remy. It's in the back of the net for 4. I know we've got Ramirez on the ball. He has been an absolute beast in the heart of midfield this game. Uh, maybe he can even get on the score sheet here. Got Ramirez dancing around the edge of the box. And can he dance his way? He dances, and it's in the back of the net. Ramirez, my man of the match this game. And, yeah, he manages to get the goal that he deserves. And that is full time. Storage could have got another one there very easily, but I'm perfectly happy with the scoreline it ended on. 5-0, three goals in very quick succession at the start, and then two goals later on. But 5-0 is an absolutely fantastic result. And now if we have a look at how many points we get, of course, 70 to unlock a match attacks pack. And we did carry over 20 points from the last episode. So we did get the win for 50 points. Five goals at 10 points each is another 50 points. And uh, so that does mean that we have reached 120 points in total. So that's one pack. And then we will have 50 points left over. Uh, so now I will cut to the match tax pack and we'll see who we get. All right, so after that fantastic 5-0 win, we are now going to open this match tax 10-player pack from the 14-15 season. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we can pull inside. And if we pull a really good player, 
then we can improve our FIFA squad with them. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. We start with Wes Morgan in the pack, um, as you can see there. And uh, then we do have Soldado, and then Larice, Aloha, or Rajoa. And then we've got Tim Krull, uh, John Joe Shelby, Leon Britton, uh, Ashley Williams. And then we do have Robin Van Persie, uh, the record breaker card. Um, so, from that pack, uh, we also have the Chelsea badge. Now, that is an amazing pull because with the badges, what I can do is um, I can get any new signing from this team. Um, because I pulled the badge and new signings aren't in this match set selection, so we're using club badges as an opportunity to get any new signing. Now, club badges are one in four packs. And I've just pulled the Chelsea one. So I've got a few different options. Quadrado, uh, Pedro, all those types of people. And yeah, we'll now switch to console and I will tell you who I bought and why. So the player I have decided to add is Inform Pedro. Now he's a Chelsea new signing um, because that's what we could get from the Chelsea badge. And we have to go with the Inform because the left... Uh, midfield version was extinct, so we had to go with the inform. Uh, he was the only one on the market, 250,000 of my 430 gone. Uh, but you know what, it's the end of FIFA at the end of the day. Um, so, Pedro's on the left wing, 87 pace, 86 shooting, 87 passing, and 93 dribbling. An absolutely fantastic card. Could eventually even go up front. The reason I didn't put him on the right wing is because we do have Theo Walcott, who performed absolutely fantastically, whereas on the left wing, we did have... Uh, Ericsson, who was a bit quiet last game. Um, so yeah, that's the new look team, and we're going to go straight in to the third game of Division 10 and the second game of the episode. So we do now come up against Jakey United with 92 chem, 80 rating, and he's got a pretty decent team really with Benzema up front and a pretty good defence as well. Uh, so yeah, this could be our toughest opponent yet. When well, he could be through here with Benzema, good tackle by company. Storage now. Oh, and that's good control from Sturridge there. Uh, now we have got Rooney on the ball. Uh, and he's just This guy is very decent at the game, by the way. Um, it's been very hard to break his defence down. And he's also been decent at attacking. All right, Rooney on the ball now. Oh, that's brilliant turning from Rooney. Oh, and it's a fantastic save from Bernd Leno. And we're 24 minutes in, and there's barely been any opportunities in this game. Oh, and that's a defence-splitting ball there from him. A lovely ball through to Benzema, but it's a save from De Gea. All right, Moreno on the edge of the box. It's deflected in! A good strike from Moreno, but helped incredibly from the deflection. And that is a very lucky goal that we definitely needed in this game. And now we've got Remy running at the defence. Could be going for our second goal here. He manages to cut back inside. Oh, and it's, he's almost through there for the shot. And Jan Vertonga whips in a low ball. Uh, which Remy latches onto. It's in the back of the net. Again, a very lucky goal. Uh, this time, Vertonghen whipping a wall in, which Remy did eventually manage to get onto somehow and put it in the back of the net. 2 0. Uh, we've had opportunities, but we've kind of scored the ones you wouldn't expect to score. Uh, we're still winning and probably deservedly. All right, here we go. Walcott with the header. Oh, it's off the line. And that is very disappointing. Oh, and that's terrible from Benzema. Don't know what really happened there. It's fallen to Theo Walcott, who can cut in. Oh, and he just can't get the shot away quick enough. Oh, and that's beautiful play. Surely it will end up in a goal. It does end up in a goal. Uh, that was absolute beauty in the build-up play, and it resulted in a deserved finish. Uh, it's 3-0 now, and we've got the loading wheel. This game hasn't been laggy, so maybe it could be a rage quit. And I believe it is a rage quit. I hope I haven't lost connection. I think it was a rage quit. Yep, we have got the win, um, and... 3-0 in the end and we get an extra 30 points for that rage quit and so after that game we are now on nine points 
uh, after three games, three wins out of three, absolute fantastic form, nine points uh, out of the possible 12 that you need to win the title, and we've got one more game remaining, so if we can win that game, we will win the title already after just four games in this season, um, but... From that game, we did get uh, the win, which 50 points. Bearing in mind, we already had 50 points uh, carried over from the last game. So 50 plus 50, um, that's 100 already. Then we had three goals, which is 30 points, and the rage quit, which is another 30 points. So that's 160 points in total, which means we will open two match deck packs and then carry 20 points over to the next game. Um, so yeah, I will cut to the match deck pack now. Alright, so after another very successful game, um, we do now have 160 points and 70 to open one match tax pack, which means we do have two match tax packs to open, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and two potential improvements to the FIFA squad. So we start straight off with Santi Cazorla, who could be a very nice addition to the team. Rivier, uh, Begovic, Ide, Marez, Adrian, uh, Huddleston, Ryan Giggs, John O'Shea, and then the Stoke City badge, which could provide an opportunity for Jaden Sekiri. Um, so I think our two options here are Santi Cazorla and Jaden Sekiri. Uh, now, so both these players, Jaden Sekiri, of course, Stoke City's new signing, and Santi Cazorla are cams. Uh, in real life, I think I'd probably go for Santi Cazorla. However, FIFA 15. It's all about the pace, so I'm going to have to go with Jaden Security as our first new signing for the team. Um, leave Rooney out for a while. He hasn't been performing too well uh, in the last couple of games. So I think that's good as well. Then we've got Neil Taylor, John Joe Shelby, Gary, Glenn Whelan, sorry, uh, Craig Gardner, Punchin, Kabul, Diame. Uh, then we've got Falcao, which could be an option. And we've got Petr Cech as well. And then we've got the Liverpool badge. Another badge, three badges in three packs today, um, which is, I think, a chance of one in 12 of that happening. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty insane that we've had three badges. It won't usually be this common. Um, but we have, again, uh, got a few options. I think our three best options are Liverpool new signing, Petacek and Falcao. All right, so uh, we could... Potentially go for Roberto Firmino, however, he's another cam. We just replaced our cam with uh, Shakiri. Um, or we could go with another goalie. We've got De Gea in goal. However, Falcao, we only have two strikers. Um, and so this could be a potential bench warmer. Or if he performs well on his debut as starter uh, for the team. So I think from the second pack, I'm going to go with Falcao. So here are our two additions. We've got Jaden Shakiri, a new standing for Stoke, and Radamel Falcao. So after those two packs, uh, we have got two new additions to the squad. And unfortunately, Jaden Shakiri, the Stoke edition, was unavailable on the FIFA market, is extinct, uh, along with. Pedro, who was also extinct. Uh, Falcao was on the market, so we did purchase the Chelsea version of him. And uh, so we had to go with Santi Cazorla instead of Shakiri. Um, and the normal Santi Cazorla was also extinct, so I've ended up going with Inform Santi Cazorla. On the bench this game, we are going to be having Rooney and Remy to start with, but both of them are potential impact substitutions if we're struggling in this next game. And this next game is actually a very important one. As you can see here, you need 12 points for the title, and we are on 9 points, and there's one game left in this episode. Um, so if we manage to win this, we're in Division 9. Anyway, let's get straight into the game. So this is our upcoming opponent, and you can see he's got a very dangerous strike force uh, with Dumbia and Musa, and then Eromenko Purple there. Um, and he's also got very decent defence, Bundesliga, and Leno in goal. Uh, so probably one of the best squads that we've come up against so far in this series. Uh, hopefully we don't struggle. Oh, Falcao immediately here in about the first minute. He hits the post and it comes back out and it's in the back of the net. Two and a half minutes in and we've already got a goal. I'm not sure who scored it. I think it might have been Pedro. Um, but, oh no, Santi Cazorla, the new signing on his debut. That'll be extra points for us. Uh, he did manage to put the ball in um, after the deflected shot from Falcao, our other new signing. Uh, so the new signings have put us ahead very early on in this game. Oh, and he's through now. This could be the first goal we've conceded. De Gea keeps it out and keeps it at 1-0. 
and Falcao now. Oh, I just can't get it there. It's a tough opportunity. Right, we've now got Falcao on the ball again. Uh, he hasn't really got the pace, but he's won his free kick in what could be quite a dangerous area. And Cazola steps up for it. Oh, it's off the bottom of the crossbar. We've got Cazola now. Inform Cazola, the new signing. Manages to bypass the slide tackle. Oh, and we've hit the woodwork yet again. And that is half time. And here we go into the second half after quite a prolonged start. He tried to just make me quit by pausing. And he's immediately equalised. And that is the first goal we've actually conceded in this series, which is unfortunate. And as it stands, it will take us uh, at least another game to get to Division 10, unless we can get another goal. All right, Radamal Falcao could get it almost immediately here. He could. Oh, and it's a good save by Leno. Straight at him, really. Another fantastic save from Leno. Oh, and again, Leno is on absolute fire at the moment. Oh, and Cazola's belter. It's, it's deflected out by Leno, but I think that was Walcott who put it in in the end from uh, Cazola's low, powerful shot from 30 yards or so. But uh, Walcott puts it in, and that makes it 2-1 to us, and we are on our way to Division 9 once more. Oh, and that's hit the inner, inside of the post there from Musa. Oh, and I don't know how we've managed to concede that penalty. Straight after the post, Vertonghen fouls Hernanes, and we've given away a penalty in the 90th minute, which could prolong our promotion to Division 10 for at least another game. And he has put it in. Two all in the 90th minute will stop us from getting the title this game. And that is extremely disappointing. So we did get a few points from that game as well, though. Uh, we carried in 20 points for the last game. Then we got uh, f uh, 30 for the win, which took us up to 50. Uh, 15 for Santi Cazola's debut goal, um, which does take us up to 65. And then for Walcott's goal, we got another 20, uh, 10 even. Uh, so that does take us up to 75, which means we can unlock a pack and have five left over for the next episode um so yeah let's go open that match text pack now you can see we almost had a perfect run of four wins in four games in division 10 but unfortunately that was ended by the 90th minute penalty but yeah i will now go but yeah we'll now cut to the match text pack okay so after that very disappointing draw we do have a consolation and that is this packet of match tags which we will get to open um as we did manage to achieve enough points to unlock it, um, unfortunately not getting the title of Division 10, which we could have easily got if it wasn't for that penalty. Um, but anyway, let's get straight into this pack and uh, see if we can get any new additions for the team next game. And immediately, as soon as we open the pack, we have got a very good potential addition in Alexi Sanchez. Uh, then we've got Colacini, Peter Crouch, Corker, Anua, Aloha, uh, Fernando, William, another uh, right midfield option, Phil Jones, and Teddy Sheringham. Um, so I think from that pack, it's a pretty easy de decision. I am going to have to go with Alexis Sanchez. So here is the updated team, as you can see, with our new addition, the very exciting Alexis Sanchez, 90 par uh, pace, 90 shooting, and 92 dribbling. He's going to be an absolute fantastic addition. We've put Pedro out to the right because uh, we did manage by the left midfield version of Sanchez. And now we have got this front midfield three all in form, uh, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's episode of Match Tax FIFA, episode number two, uh, then please do smash that thumbs up button. And of course, I will see you next time.